Hey, what's up everybody? Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy. I just got a nice little package here. Nice little box going on. I've got the dogs barking in the background. But I'm jumping on real quick because I got a package here from School of PE. Uh, they've created a new book for those studying for the FE exam. And I want to do a quick review of it with you. Kind of give you an inside look of the book. What's uh, good about it. Maybe some things maybe they can improve on. I don't know. But uh, I just wanted to let you know it's going to be a good one. Let's open it up. Come discover this book with me and we'll see how this can help you on your journey to pass the civil FE exam. And the dogs are excited about it too. All right, so let's just break into this book. We just start oh, tearing into this thing. Opening it up, it comes in a nice box, comes in a nice package. Check it out, it's nice and glossy. The FE Civil Exam Review Guide by School of PE. It's a nice looking book. It looks very modern. Uh, you got a nice cover here. Uh, in the back, you've got some information about the book itself, how uh, basically all the topics it covers, things of that nature. It's just a, it's like a nice modern looking book, right? Uh, a little different than kind of what we're used to. You got colored tabs, you can see right at the edges. If I start heading to just the beginning of the book, you can see that there's a ton of authors here that are part of this. It took a team of people to uh, create this. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot of content here. Every chapter is broken down into individual sections. You've got a ton of authors. And the reason for this is because uh, what they've done is they've taken subject matter experts and each subject matter experts developed their own section as part of this book and you get their background for each of the authors. You can see John here, Jeffrey, uh, there's just quite a few authors uh, as I as we dive through them. Uh, which With each of these authors uh, you can find out which section that they've wrote uh, written in the book which is kind of nice. But it's fun to, to put names with faces and get to know the authors a little bit more. Um, one of the things that I really liked is these little AR codes. And uh, I'll show that in a minute. But in here we've got these little uh, AR codes is what they're called. There they go. Oh, drop that. AR codes. And with those you download basically an app, right? And you scan the app and you point it over one of these AR codes. And I'm going to show how that exactly works for you. All right, so I've booted up the app, Total AR. Once you go in here, you go to Marker AR. That's how you select the AR codes. Then you go in and scan a code, just like it is here on this front page. After you, you got to get some sign up stuff going on. So the only downside to these AR codes that I saw is that it does take a little bit of time, uh, depending on your internet connection and all that. Uh, to get you up to speed. So anyway, I noticed that I needed to sign up. This is kind of a complete walkthrough of this. Uh, so I'll speed this up. And boom, we're in. So I'm just testing this out by scanning a code. And you can see it takes just a little bit to go and ask you which browser to use. It pops you into the School of PE. So with this particular code, that I scanned, you'll see what it does. So it takes you to the School of PE, and what it does is it's asking you uh, if you have a specific question, you can sign up to ask an expert. So there are sections in here where you scan the code. If you have additional questions, you can go ahead and ask an ex expert. I think this one's cool. If you scan a code at the chapter, uh, at the beginning of each chapter, you will actually be taken to, and this one has two codes, so you select which one you want to do, left or right, kind of cool. And it takes you to a YouTube video of the actual authors. And uh, so you get to real, you really get to know who wrote the chapter and get to know them at a little bit more of a personal level. So this particular author, Charles Proctor, introduces himself and the chapter works. So pretty, pretty cool stuff. So this is another uh, code I'm scanning here for definition and also down here for introduction and uh, I noticed sometimes when I would scan these codes they just, I don't know if it was an internet connection thing or whatnot, but uh, sometimes they just wouldn't go for me. So you can see I'm scanning this one for an introduction and it just 
I don't know if I wasn't patient enough, but it just wouldn't, uh, wouldn't quite go for me on that one. So uh, I was testing out just all kinds of different codes, and this one, for, for whatever reason, uh, just did not, didn't want to click for me. Uh, so I just moved on, right? Try this other one. Uh, it's a definition one. I think sometimes you, you do have to reset the app to get these to work. I'm sure they do all work. But for whatever reason, I cannot get those uh, to pop in for me on just a few of these. And I think, you know, if you're if I'm making a list of pros and cons, maybe that's just one of the cons is that it does take a while for these AR codes to pop up, but they are a fun addition uh, to your studies. So, but, you know, sometimes uh, they didn't work for me. This one eventually did on the far right, and what happens is it, uh, over some time, it boots up the internet and takes you straight to a unit converter, which is kind of a cool tool uh, to help you do some unit conversions right from your, your phone. So that was kind of cool, scanning that. Um, this is the FE handbook where it's supposed to take you there, to kind of give you a reference to the equations that they're referencing. That one I just couldn't get to take, but let's see what I get here. I just, I don't know if uh, I couldn't get that one to work for whatever reason. Uh, I'm sure they do work, like I said. Maybe I'm just having problems. Okay, this one I jumped to a QR code, or uh, yeah, a code that basically uh, jumps me to a quiz simulator. So this is awesome because not only does the book have problems, but they give you additional problems at the end of each chapter that you can start a test on and get you another 10 questions or so just to test yourself, right? So you, you can have a ton of attempts here, but the, the whole point is to practice problems and they give you that ability after each chapter. Pretty cool. So guys, there's a lot to this book. I mean, if I could list a, a list of pros and maybe a few cons, there'd be very few cons to this book. But some of the pros are that it's got these, these new AR codes that you can scan and help you with all these kind of features, additional practice problems, uh, take you to an FE handbook, uh, definitions, um, all kinds of stuff to help you, unit conversions, introduction to authors. There's lots of different QR codes you can check out uh, when, you, when you get the app and scan it in the book. So that's pretty cool. The other thing I really like is that the, it's a very modern book. It's kind of a glossy finish to it. It's, it's well put together. The figures in it are all colored, which is really cool. I also love that a lot of their equations match up with the specifications. And a lot of times that's a problem with textbooks, but that's a really cool feature of the book. Um, so that's really cool. I also like, like in the margins, you have room to write stuff if you want. It also includes like FE exam tips or overview things that you can read up on. Uh, they kind of give you a heads up on different things in the margins. So uh, the other thing I really like is that it is authored by a bunch of authors that specialize in different areas and they've all participated in writing this book and authoring this book. So that is kind of nice because each author, you know, is an expert in a particular subject matter and can help write that chapter. So that's really cool. And then lastly, like I just mentioned before, is it has this exam or test simulator to give you ad additional problems after each chapter. Uh, even though they do have problems within each chapter, they give you 10 additional problems at the end. So that is all pretty sweet as well. Okay, so if I could list just a few cons, one of them would just be that total AR app. It does take a little bit of time to boot up and, and when you actually scan a code, it does take time. So, you know, that, that could be a, a con. Really, there's not very many. The other thing I found is that there are just a few equations where you have to read up on in the FE handbook to make sure things are compared correctly, uh, just to make sure that you are all on the same page. But really, there wasn't that, you know, there's really not that very many. Uh, I, one of them I looked up was transmissivity, just the definition of a width or thickness. Those kind of, there's just a few little things that I found. There's really not much there. Um, and that really that's it. So this is a great book. Um, definitely worth considering checking out. You know, if you've got the funds to go check it out, definitely do so. Uh, it might be a good addition to your library if you're studying for the FE exam. Uh, something I enjoyed reviewing and looking through. Uh, it's quite a thick book. It covers everything you need. Obviously, it will have to be updated. I guess that could be a con. 
but it meets exactly what the specifications are so you, you get what you want uh, but if things do get updated they will have to update that which is also a very nice feature but they're going to keep that updated so guys that's going to be the total review of this book by the school of pe the fe civil exam review guide check it out woo, woo, woo. Uh, i think it's a good one if you want it go check it out through our link civilengineeringacademy.com slash s-o-p-e you'll be directed to that we are partner with them but you can go check out their books and material if you would like uh, we are just aiming to help engineers pass their fe and their pe exams on uh, and no matter what resources are out there to help you. I want to be a go-to source to help you understand what is out there and available to help you ace these exams, including our very own resources as well. So uh, if you need help with anything additional, go check us out at civilengineeringacademy.com. I was excited to do this review. Thanks for School of PE for lending me a copy of this book. It's a very good book and I think it's going to be one that you enjoy if you're studying for the FE exam. Definitely go check it out, civilengineeringacademy.com slash S-O-P-E. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.